Hi, this is Digital Beersborn. Welcome back for more AP Art History. We're looking at the indigenous Americas. And this week, we're going to move out of South America and into North America, where we find the Mesa Verde cliff dwellings. Now, let's start by talking about the context. This site is built into a cliff face, and it's found in the state of Colorado. In the Four Corners area of Colorado, where Colorado, Utah, Arizona, and New Mexico meet, down in this southwest corner, we have the Puebloan culture, an indigenous population. They're also known as the Anasazi. Although that name is used more rarely, you might see that name come up on the AP test. The Anasazi actually translates to ancestors of our enemies. Uh, it was given to the Puebloan by a rival indigenous group. So they prefer the name Puebloans, which is probably the more correct term to use. Now the site itself is called Mesa Verde. Mesa means table, verde means green. Green table refers to the area in which the cliff dwellings are built. A mesa is a, a flat topped mountain. Called a, called a mesa because it's almost table-like with how flat it is on the top. It's green because of fertile soil that's found on the top of this mesa that allows for farming. The Puebloans would farm the top of the mesa. Their source of food was the farmland that's located on the top. Although they did not live on top of the mesa, they lived instead in houses built into the cliff face below. There are a number of these cliff dwellings. The most well-preserved is Cliff Palace. It's uh, not the biggest, it's only about 150 rooms, uh, could hold a population of probably about 250, but it's in great condition. It was built in about 1200 CE, but only lasted about 1300 years, I'm sorry, about 100 years in use. By 1300 CE, it was completely abandoned. Now, why it was abandoned is unknown. Um, the leading theory is that perhaps a drought hit, which made farming the top of the mesa impossible. And without the farm, they didn't have enough food to sustain their population and they were forced to move on. Now, the form of Mesa Verde, it's made out of bricks. The structures themselves are bricks cut from the stone. And between the bricks, they would use something called mud mortar to make their structures more sturdy. Mortar is, you can think of it like glue that holds bricks together. Oftentimes cement is used as a mortar, but for the Puebloans, what they would use is a thick, heavy mud. When the mud would dry, it would help to secure the bricks together to make their structures more durable. Most of these buildings are residential, they're family homes. But in front of the family homes, if you look in this photo, down towards the bottom of the image, you'll see a circular hole. These pits are known as kivas. The family houses are organized around the kivas, with a kiva in front of every residence. Now, as we see it today, it's open at the top, but originally this kiva would have been covered with a wooden roof. The only way to get in was by a ladder that ran down through the ceiling. Once inside, you'd find a fire pit in the middle, a vent to allow fresh air, and also something known as a sipapu. A sipapu is a symbolic hole. It's a hole that's dug into the ground that is meant to reference the creation story of the Puebloan people. They believe that their ancestors emerged from the earth through a hole. The function of a kiva is as a religious site. Families would gather down there with a shaman to, to practice religious rituals, and the sipapu would be a symbol of their origin story. Now, the function of Mesa Verde as a whole, it was a place for people to live. But the reason why they built that into a cliff face is unknown. It was much more difficult to live in the cliff face. Uh, all water and food had to be moved from the top of the mesa or down below, up ladders or by ropes into the city. So why would they move into a cliff face? Why not just build their houses on top of the mesa? The theory is that perhaps it gave them protection. If there was another rival population in the area that would attack them, by building into the cliff face, it gave them a natural defense. The only way into the city was by ladder. 
If they retracted those ladders, there'd be no good way for a, an aggressive population to attack them. Another advantage is that it might have made the city more comfortable. The cliff face above would protect them from rain. And by being tucked into the shade of the rock, it would allow the temperature to be more cool in the summer as well. Now, at some point it was abandoned and left as we see it today, most likely due to um, a drought that destroyed the farmland on top and forced the population to move on. 